Good morning. It's Thursday, April 14th, and this is your Daily Roar. I'm Elias. And I'm Mario. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Some are comparing what's happening in Ukraine to the war crimes committed by Hitler in World War II. Some of Vladimir Putin's victims are survivors of the Holocaust, but more Putins and Hitlers might exist if there weren't classes like this. The Holocaust was the systematic genocide of European Jews. This occurred between 1941 and 1945. The Nazi Germans killed millions of Jews across Europe, including homosexuals, gypsies, and mentally ill children. Students should take this class because it educates people about the history of the Holocaust and the actions and thoughts that led the people to commit those atrocities. I think it's important for students to take this class because you really learn about society and how critical it is to take extra precautions to avoid those measurements. El holocausto alemán fue el genocidio masivo de millones de judíos, homosexuales, prisioneros de guerra y gitanos durante la Segunda Guerra Mundial. This class has helped me approach others with an open mindset because you don't know what people have gone through to get here today. I think this class is important for people to take because it really showed me how Hitler was able to grow uh, the youth into being a more powerful country. Como inmigrante, en esta clase he aprendido a no menospreciar a aquellos en necesidad de asilo. To me, this class has changed the way I think because now I see how racism can turn into something so bad, like genocide, and I should stop it when I see it. This class has changed my perspective a lot. It taught me that no matter how big or small my actions are, it can influence other people. Are you at least 15 years old and need a summer job? If your family qualifies for free or reduced price lunch, then you could earn $14 an hour during a five-week internship through the city of Orlando. The internships take place June 6th through July 8th, and you'll be working 30 hours a week with experienced professionals. After July 8th, the business where you're working can choose to keep you on as a regular employee. To learn about this opportunity, look for the link to the City of Orlando Youth Employment page in the description. Welcome back to Life Hacks. Uh, we're going to show you how to be more successful in your academics. So it's really easy and simple. You just have to go onto Google and type in plagiarism checker. That's it. So you just want to type in plagiarism checker, right? And Grammarly is a really good one that I, I use often. And then you just want to type in whatever essay or document that you want to check for plagiarism here. And just like that, you can check your academic papers for plagiarism, and you can use this in college, especially since it, that's where it matters the most. Thank you. Our Lady Lions water polo team is looking to repeat a state champ after bringing home another regional title. The regional win was no walkover. Boone put up a good fight, but your Lions led by Emily Shearer with three goals and Fernanda Nakazoni Brito with three goals were not going to be beaten, along with Melissa Sakalis' 12 saves and the goal that kept the Braves total to five 
while Lake Nona did three better, scoring eight in the end. Okay, girls, this banner looks a little lonely, so let's win a friend for it at States. I'm Mario. And I'm Elias. Along with talent, our girls' water polo players are champs due to this. Good teams become great ones when the members trust each other enough to surrender the me for the we.